He said, what? I said, an optical illusion. Because, because when he's gifts. backstage and closed, Phil he does not he. look like what he does on stage. Just amazing genetics. So you can't be lean. It was minus two. Strong. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh! And natural. Thank God for pure natural strength. Ah. I'm genetically gifted to do that kind of stuff. <laughs> so I just happen to be genetic gift for strength and bodybuilding. Did you ever in your mind <laughs> so I'm feel a different beast. This is coming from a lifetime of never trading calves. Come on. What is hell here? Like <laughs> This was my first time ever posing. Ooh. When you're talking about genetics, there are certain things that you can physically see in someone. The first thing I want to mention is calves, forearms, and your neck. But you'll find people that have massive forearms, massive calves, massive neck. That to me is you're coming right out of the gate with good genetics. I've always felt like somebody who has good pain tolerance, that's, a, that's good genetics to me. genetics. Full ass popping muscle belly, little tiny waist. This guy is insane. That's just my opinion. You guys don't understand my opinion. You look at a 300 pound bloated ass big stomach bodybuilder and be like, God damn, that guy looks incredible. Wrong. There are more and more genetic hyper elites coming out of the woodwork. You know, it's not like when the population increases, expecting there to be regression in performance metrics, I feel like is makes no sense. There are three types of people in the world, ectomorphs, endomorphs, and mesomorphs. Rich Piana looked at me and told me, dude, you're too big, you're gonna die. <laughs> I've got this gene where I don't produce as much hydration as, as any other person. And they call it the dehydrated gene. So and it's, very, it's super rare. So I think the gene has come from my mom's side, from the, from the Viking sort of side. And the Nordics are typically successful and strong men, right? Yeah, you know, the Icelandics, the Swedish, yeah. They, they, they've, they've won a lot of titles between them. King, if you have these three things, you have elite chest genetics. The first sign that you have elite chest genetics is that you have no chest gap. There's even muscle mass distribution between your lower and your upper chest. So for my chest, I'm a little lopsided. I have a lot of lower muscle mass. But yeah, if you have all three of these, you have elite chest genetics. <laughs> Next question is from Blower18. How can you know how good your muscle building genes are? He's in shape at the Foot Locker. 